Okay, so we're just going to go through updating the calculator. So it might be time to update, but we don't know for sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the menu and click on that. It takes us to the menu. We're going to check on the top by going menu. We're going to go to version. And this one's got version 2.01.5. Now that's actually not the latest version. So we click on OK. And that means we're going to need to do an update. So to do an update, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need the cable that came with it. It'll have a USB at one end. We'll have this at the other end. Now this goes into the calculator in there. So we're going to need that. But before we do, we're going to need to head across to our calculator or our computer. We're going to need to go into here. We're going to, have to type in Casio. And the first thing that comes up is, well, one of these two here, download resources. How about we just go to one of those two? Yeah, why not? We do this. No, that wasn't good. Don't like that one. So let's try again. So Casio. And how about we go to download resources. The second one. This is what I'm talking about. That's the one we wanted. And so in here, it's got a software licensing agreement. So we just got to scroll down there and accept it. That will bring up the screen for the calculators. So I'm particularly interested in the uh, calculator here. And I'll do the update. Now, the latest update when I did this video was 2.01.7. Obviously, that might change by the time you get to see this, but this is actually recorded in uh, November 2020, just for the record. So we want to get the update for this one. So handheld operating system update is what we want. We need the one for Windows, so we click on this one here. Now, down here, we should notice that that's downloading. It does take a little bit of time, as a matter of fact, to download. I might just pause just for a minute. Okay, so the download has actually finished in the background. So now I'm just going to open it up. And comes up with this little thing up here. And I'm going to double-click that to open it. Now we just have to wait for a minute to see what happens next. And this is what we were expecting. So we go to Yes. And it's going to open things up in the background for us. So when this comes up, it's a good sign. So it says welcome. So we do next. And it says I accept. We need to click on I accept, of course. Go to next. And we're ready to install. Things are looking good at this particular point. Now comes the part where you've got a few little instructions there. So it says connect the calculator. And uh, then it says press clear to exit it. I'm just going to pause for a tick while I get that set up, but I need to actually put the cables into my calculator and into the laptop at the moment. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so at one end I've put my USB in, and at the other end it's gone into the back of the calculator in that particular spot there, and so we're ready to go. Now, oddly, it actually says you've got to press clear to enter it. But down here, that's actually not one of the options. But the option that we are meant to be pressing is the one that says cancel. So we're going to click on the one that says cancel. And that's, ooh, did that actually do anything? That, I think it did. So now we need to come across what the next instruction say. On the application menu, tap the communications icon. And away we go. So what it's talking about is this communications icon here. So we're going to click on it. Where's my stylus gone? Runaway stylus. Click on communication. And what we're meant to now do is to go to link and operating system update. And we click on OK down here. And if things are going well, we come up here. That's a good sound, by the way, in the background. We click on OK. And once we see those green things happening, we reckon that's a good thing. So in the background, it's going to be checking the calculator version. Now, remember, that was the old version that we actually had. So we're expecting that it will actually be able to do an update. And what we're also expecting is that uh, it'll say, do you want to kind of clear or, ch or back up your previous work? Normally, we don't. Uh, things like the uh, shift keys aren't affected by this. So we don't necessarily need to back anything up. 
and it all just goes along quite nice. I'm just going to pause there for a minute. So right now it's uh, still doing what it's meant to be doing. So this actually takes about five minutes. This, uh, So don't get too concerned if it seems to be taking a long time. It's what it's meant to do. And I'll come back again once we've finished the process. All right, so we must be getting very close now. Look at that. The green is getting closer and closer. It is kind of like watching grass grow. But you do have to be just that little bit patient. Come on, you can do it. You're almost there. Come on. Come on. And surely that's it. Okay, it's having a think. And we're almost there, and come on, don't let me down. Aha! Uh -huh. Now it says update is complete, and it says, well, let's focus on that. Uh, do you want to do another calculator? Well, if you did, that, that particular stage, you press yes, and then you just plug in another calculator and go through the same process. But we don't, we just want to do the one calculator, so we click no here. Now, then we finish that off, so that's all good. But down here on our calculator, we'll notice that we have to go through the setup process again. So we're doing this in English. So we just do set. We're going to use the QWERTY. So we do set. Depending on the batteries you're using, you might be using alkalines. Most people would be. Just do set there. And it says you selected alkaline batteries. Yeah, that's fine. We did want to do that. And now what we find is that we're back to normal. Now just to check to see if we've got the right version there. We click on version and now we can see it's 2.01.7 so as of right now that's the most up-to-date version that you can get and that's pretty much it so now you can calculate until your heart's content okay bye for now